Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my story time video of when I got to perform with the Broadway actor Derek Klenna. Um, for those who don't know who he is, he has done many off-Broadway productions, he's been in many Broadway productions, and the latest production that he was in was Anastasia on Broadway. Um, it just actually closed. He wasn't in it for the full two-year run. He was in it when he was in it. Um, and yeah, so he played Dimitri, the OG original um, character person who played Dimitri. And I had the opportunity experience of a lifetime to perform with Derek Klenna at Feinstein's 54 Below in New York City. So for those of you probably wondering, like, how in the world? Like, good question. Honestly, like, I think about it now, and it's been about two weeks, and I think about how you kind of come up with these, like, opportunities and how you can just pick them up. And, um, I went to go see his third solo show, at 54 Below. I saw him on his first one, February 19th. This was his third one. Um, I did not see him in his March one, but I saw him in his third one on April 19th, 2019, and it was part of my 20th birthday gift. Um, and I still, like, I think about it now and I look at the pictures. I don't know if you can see behind me, but this is a picture of me and Derek after the show was over. And then, um, I also framed, um, him hugging me, and he has the biggest smile on his face. It's just incredible. So much joy in one photo. Um, and so, basically, what happened was, we went to 54, and I brought my birthday crown. And the 19th was about three weeks after my birthday. My, my original birthday was April 2nd. Um, and so, I thought, well, it's, we're still celebrating, so I guess I could bring the birthday crown. So I brought the birthday crown and I put it on and I wasn't sure if they were going to tell me to take it off just because it could have blocked people but it wasn't that big to block people's view of the stage where Derek was performing. Um, so Derek basically went through a lot of his childhood, a lot of how he got to where he is today, talked about his college years, well he wasn't there for very long, but um, and how he you know, got his first role and all that stuff and then he talked about the 2013 Broadway musical Dogfight. Um, which he played Eddie, and then Lindsay Mendez played Rose. Um, and he did this skit um, in February, and I was not chosen the first time. So when I saw the stool on the stage, I knew he was going to do it, or he might have had a, a, like another skit he wanted to do. Um, and so I knew I had to get myself on the stage. And so when he started saying how he needed one willing volunteer. Um, the person that was running his show, and he, did, he, he like runs other shows and stuff, Ben said that he needed someone with desperations and sparkles. I don't know if he maybe already saw my crown because it was pink and sparkly and it said birthday girl on it. So maybe he saw that already and thought, hey, this is a good person to bring up on stage. So when he saw my crown, um, and as you guys know, if you haven't seen them already, I'll leave them in the description box. I posted up two different angles of the video of the experience with Derek and I. I'll leave those in, in the description box if you haven't watched those already. Um, so that you can, get, you can kind of get a better understanding of what I'm telling you guys. So, um... He basically saw my crown and said, oh my god, it's your birthday, like, come up. So, as you can probably see, like, I was completely just shocked and, um, nervous, very nervous, wanting to pee myself. And so, <laughs> I got on stage, and just the fact that I was on the 54 stage, not just with Derek, but, like, the Feinstein 54 Below stage, many Broadway actors, TV actors, movie actors have graced that stage with their presence and the fact that I was stood on that stage for four minutes 
was crazy. Um, and I framed the script that I was given to read for Rose, and so I'm just going to basically run down what happened. So basically, we, so Derek twirled me, Derek held my hand, Derek looked into my eyes, like, for a good four and a half, for a good, like, two and a half minutes during one piece of the song, um, and he hugged me, and it was just incredible, and at the end, he told me I was amazing, and that he wished me a happy birthday, and I don't know, I, I think about it now, and it's like, all these things happen to you, and you just, just don't realize, like, what could happen to you, you know, going out somewhere at the right time, you know, um, and I just think that's so incredible, um, and if you watch the video, which you should, <laughs> You'll see the entire thing. Um, but I can't listen to Come to a Party anymore without, like, laughing. I can't take the song seriously anymore, let's say. Um, I could have had a chance to see Dogfight, but I was 12. Don't know if I wanted to see him, like, mean Marine that he was. He played Marine. Um... But yeah, so I performed at Derek Klenna on Fine and Science 54 Below stage, and it was amazing, and I can't believe it. So I don't have any other words to describe the gratefulness that I had. Um, and I mean, meeting him afterwards was crazy too. Whole nother, whole nother different story of itself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, subscribe to my channel and make sure to go and watch those other videos I'll leave down in the description box. Oh, and stay tuned. My friend Marie and I, when I get back to college, will be filming our experience meeting Jerry... Jerry, wow. Joey McIntyre from New Kids on the Block when he was in Waitress on Broadway. Peace out, guys.